Bacteria are all around us, on us, and in us. We can infect each other with them and get sick. But imagine if your bacteria could instead make someone healthy. Frederick Beckhead wants to take advantage of these microscopic life forms in the fight against type 2 diabetes, a disease that affects hundreds of millions of people all over the world. Our dream and goal with the research is to put bacteria into a capsule and then resupply them to individuals that, in order to prevent or treat uh, diseases such as type 2 diabetes. This is about gut bacteria. An adult human carries roughly one to two kilos of bacteria in their gut, most of which live in the large intestine. These bacteria help break down food, nourish us, and produce vitamins. But the quantity of bacteria we have and which species flourish here varies from person to person. And Frederick has been looking for differences in the intestines that specifically distinguish diabetics. Här har vi ett av de tusentals avfärdningsprov vi samlat för att undersöka vilka tarmbakterier som olika människor har. Vi har åtta frysar med fulla med avfärdningsprover. Thanks to the contents in these freezers, Frederick has made a vital discovery. When we compare the microbiota in diabetics and non-diabetics, those individuals with diabetes, they lack certain bacteria that seems to be very important. But can it really be that the absence of a few bacteria make diabetics sick? To find out what is happening inside, Frederick's team has built bioreactors, artificial intestines. So have you isolated strains here, or what, what are you working on here? Yes, these are isolated strains. So we let them grow anaerobically without oxygen for a while here. And then we take the samples and we put them in the bioreactor. Bacteria in the gut are not solitary. They live in an ecosystem. And in order to study them as a community, we use the bioreactors to understand how they are degrading and processing different food components and how those will result in different metabolites or molecules that can contribute or maybe prevent diabetes. So what we have in there, uh, it's basically uh, supposed to mimic human food. So it contains different kinds of carbohydrates and fibers and vitamins. Here in the bioreactors, Frederick grows gut bacteria from diabetics. By feeding bacteria with different ingredients, following the breakdown of the food and seeing which molecules are formed, Frederick has been able to reveal an exciting connection between the bacteria's processes and diabetes. So how are they tied together? When we eat and drink, our blood sugar is raised but it is harmful for us to have too much sugar in our blood. Insulin is the substance that tells the body that there is sugar in the blood that needs to be taken care of. Frederick has seen that patients with type 2 diabetes break down certain nutrients differently so that a substance called imidazole propionate is formed. This impairs the ability for cells to respond to insulin. It's like the body has become deaf to insulin. When Frederick was growing up, biology and chemistry were his favorite subjects. His plan was to become a teacher. But during his education, Frederick got the chance to try research, which got him hooked immediately. The freedom that nothing is impossible, that every idea can be tested, is what captured Frederick. Men det känns bra. Ja, det känns väldigt bra. Ja. Jag får fortsätta att man måste ut mitt tycker jag så man ser hur kan stå ut på sin gamla mm. kropp. Ja. ja, men framförallt så är det ju väldigt, vi är väldigt tacksamma att du ställer upp. För att vi hoppas ju att vi ska kunna se om man har en risk för ja. sjukdomar som hjärt, för hjärt, hjärtproblem senare i livet mm. och, och även men framförallt med diabetes. Mm. Around 400 million people worldwide are affected by type 2 diabetes, and this number is steadily increasing. We're talking about the level of an epidemic. 
But can we really slow down this development just by keeping the intestinal bacteria at bay? And I think it's pretty oversimplified to believe that microbes will contribute to all cases of type 2 diabetes. But perhaps there are some subgroups of individuals where the microbes are important, and then by identifying them and then treating them with this microbiota-based treatments may be a good opportunity. And a new treatment may soon be a reality. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So these are the capsules where we put in the bacteria that diabetics are missing and in order to, to prevent or even treat diabetes. Frederick's hope with this tablet is that the presence of bacteria will stabilize the intestinal ecosystem and produce good molecules that allow the food to be broken down properly. That is, without the formation of harmful substances, thus curing type 2 diabetes or preventing the disease from developing at all. In experiments with mice, they have already succeeded. And next in line is man. I'm super excited about it, and I'm also very proud that we managed to, to identify the bacteria in the lab and then develop it into a potential treatment.